for the species living in Canis. Winter is the longest season, lasting from October to May of the following year. For over half a year, snow and ice dominate this land. Canis lies on the southern slope of the Altai Mountain's middle part. Although it is located on middle and high latitudes, Canis has a snow line at the altitude of about 2,850 meters, which is the lowest across China. From the Canis Lake at the altitude of 1,374 meters, the Nivel Belt stretches northward for 400 square kilometers. This seemingly endless white land falls into a deep slumber. However, the white-throated dipper is an exception. The thick snow and frigid cold fail to make it flinch. Its ample body fat stores up sufficient calories to ward off the cold. Against the snowy mountain range, the Canis Lake is almost frozen. However, the rapid stream entering into the lake's mouth has not frozen yet, offering the white-throated dipper a convenient passage to find food. Under the ice are stonefly larvae and grass roots. For excellent divers like the white-throated dipper, these are all sources of energy and special delicacies in winter. Influenced by the westerlies, precipitation in Canis is more abundant in winter than in other seasons. The eight months of snowfall and the snow accumulation period that lasts around 200 days leave Canis completely blanketed in snow and ice. The snow depth can reach over two meters at most. Such bountiful snowfall has blanketed the wintering land with a thick white quilt. For the hibernating Canis, it also harbors enormous vitality. On the extensive snow field, once lush vegetation has to grow under the accumulated snow. The starving red deer comes out to seek food. The red deer has a similar body shape as a horse. Its ancestors can be traced back to the Ice Age. Having survived the extreme cold, the red deer demonstrates its astonishing ability to resist the coldness. In winter, when food is scarce, the red deer displays no signs of panic. Withered grasses buried under the heavy snow and leaves of pine trees covered by a layer of ice provide nourishing food for the red deer. With rich and varied vegetation, even in the extremely cold winter, Canis shows that signs of life cannot be suppressed. When everything returns to the profound silence, the warriors that dare to brave the cold infuse the vast snowfield with a rare glimpse of dynamism. <laughs> 